Hello everybody, this is Tim from Berkshire Drop Brokers on board this 1996 Rodman 1100 Fisher for a look around her interior so that you can see her general layout, what she offers and if she might be the boat for you. So as you can see, we're standing looking through the great big companionway through to the even bigger cockpit with its own companion way. Lots of room out there for fishing, lounging, etc. But we're concentrating on the inside for now. But we have really nice sliding French windows there. Very nice action. They seem really, really sturdy as well, leading into this nice big saloon. And if you just look up, although you can't tell, there's uh, I would say there's well over six feet of headroom in here. So it uh, feels light, bright and airy. Not in least due to the windows, which uh, all have curtains apart from the front screen. You can see the windows are really, really big. So we've got lots of light coming in here with they do open and uh, really great for watch keeping at sea as well especially as you can see through the french windows but let's start off in the port aft corner you can see the curtains there and then just right down in the corner we've got uh, quite a large drop-in cupboard there with two drawers the bottom two drawers open the top one's a bit of a fake but that just gives you more room inside we've got uh, seating forward and aft here so you can see we've got a nice room uh, for about four people to sit down there with uh, with a saloon table there very nice indeed and again sitting up here you've got the view you've got the light and just feels nice up here forward of that we've got uh, a quite an amount of shelving actually there we have the tv here which uh, which does fold up i'll see if i can do it one-handed there we go so if you wanted to sit and watch the tv as a family or as a bunch of friends you can do that no problem and then when when we're back at sea if we want to put it down out of the way so we can watch keep and so that it doesn't fall over there we go no problem at all now just uh, looking down there you can see the companion way so let's go down down there shall we nice and easy hop so we've got one two three four steps down here and uh, the first thing we encounter on the right hand side or the starboard side is the heads compartment so there we go we've got the uh, the manual head forwards we've got the sink with a shower attachment aft stowage underneath as well nice big window on the uh, on the aft bulkhead there and we've got an opening window up there too a good headroom i'd say probably over six feet in there too so let's kind of close the door on that and have a look in the main cabin down here so uh, if i just step back into the companionway we can see we've got a nice big double bed there which is kind of uh, situated across the bow of the boat you can see the flare of the bow just uh, either side We've got seating to the starboard side. We've got windows port and starboard which stay closed, but we do have a hatch above to allow more light and air inside. Very nice indeed. Now, if I just turn around to port, we can see we've got the uh, the small galley compartment. This be, this has been converted into its current use. So we've got a, a microwave in there. There may be uh, room under there for a proper oven or a fridge or something, but you can see the amount of storage under there. Absolutely unbelievable. So it's been kitted out with shelves, etc., for all your nice and easy bits and pieces like your uh, cups of tea, your toast, perhaps for those long days fishing etc more stowage there and here we can see what i believe are the uh the sides to the cockpit enclosure they look in good order to me as well they're not in regular use so they've been kept down here for safekeeping and they they are just hiding another little cupboard behind there too very nice loads of room in there and i think you could uh, knock up some uh, some real nice and easy quick meals down there whilst you're fishing or just enjoying yourself at sea but back up to the main saloon i'll just turn to uh, the port side and as you can see, let's start at the top. Up here, we've got uh, autopilot control. We've got uh, GPS. We've got a bigger GPS unit chart plotter here. And then in front of the end, uh, in front of the helm, where we're sitting or standing, uh, we've got all the, uh, the comprehensive engine instrumentation. So we've got tank contents indicator. I think that's a rudder, under, rudder angle indicator in the middle. And then for each engine, we've got water temperature. We've got uh, hours. We've got uh, start, stop, etc. cetera, Louboy pressure, uh, Louboy pressure and the engine speed as well. Uh, and in the middle, it looks like we've got uh, alarms and warnings. Then all the way along the bottom, we've got the uh, obligatory switches that we see on boats. All there, nice and easy for you to, uh, to choose from. And we've also got a little tray in front for your pens and pencils, etc. We have engine throttles to the right hand side of the helm. We've got the nice wooden steering wheel there. We've got a nice seat. Uh, sorry, a nice footrest underneath there for the helm too. And then just turning around, we've got more electric panel and or another electric panel and isolators on the port side outboard there. Opening window by the helm again, so he can shout out to the guys on the deck, etc. And uh, a really nice, comfy looking seat just over the fridge. Very handy for those beverages, etc. And then just to finish off, you can see we've got this uh, bench seat on the port aft side with stowage 
aft and beneath, which uh, all lends to a really, really nice open interior, lots of light, great visibility, lots of headroom. A few things could be improved here and there if you wanted to make your own improvements, but overall she feels like a really nice solid boat. So this has been Tim from Boatshed Drop Brokers, just showing you around the interior of this 1996 Rodman Fisher 1100. Hope you've enjoyed the tour and we hope to see you soon. Take care.